where to auscultate for murmurs. So now specific valves have designated areas for auscultation and whenever you are suspecting the pathology of that valve, you should be auscultating in that area. Okay. So I will take you through, the, through those areas. The first area that I am going to talk about is the aortic area. Now where is the aortic area situated? Aortic area is on the right second intercostal space close to the manubrium sterni. Right, right second intercostal space close to the sternum. Now the question is the aortic valve is on the left side of the heart. Now why the area is on the right side of the heart? How do we define murmurs? We define murmur as the turbulence created by the flow of blood. Now the blood, uh, the sound that is generated by this turbulence, right, will be propagated along the direction of the flow of blood. Got it? So let me say at this particular location, I create a turbulence and the blood is moving in this direction, then the sound will be carried in that direction itself, right. So when you look at the location of the aortic valve, this is my left ventricle, this is where my aortic valve will be there and this is how the aorta originates from there. The turbulence is being created at this location, right? This is the aortic valve. In that case, the direction of the jet of blood is angled towards right. That is why the, the sound will be best heard in the right second intercostal space. That's why aortic area is in the right second intercostal space. Now, the next area that I will be talking about is the counterpart of the aortic valve on the right side that is pulmonic valve, right? The pulmonic area is on the left side, left second intercostal space close to sternum is our pulmonic area. Now, why is this on the left? Same principle. This is my right ventricle. This is where the pulmonic valve is there and this is how the pulmonary artery divides into two. Turbulence created here is most likely conducted towards the right side and that is why right second intercostal space becomes the pulmonic area. Okay. Now this is where my right atrium is there, this is the tricuspid valve and this is my right ventricle. So if the turbulence is created at the level of tricuspid valve, right, the direction of flow of blood is towards the lower portion of the sternum that to angle towards left, right. This is the direction of jet of blood. And because of that, the left lower sternal bottom becomes, becomes my tricuspid area. Okay, three major valves done. The next one is mitral area. Now mitral area here I have depicted in the fifth intercostal space. We can say medial to mid clavicular line, but it is not always present there. Mitral area generally corresponds to cardiac apex. Why? Because this is where my mitral valve will be there. This is my left atrium and the direction of flow of blood is towards the apex of the heart, right? So wherever is the apex is where the mitral area will be there. But apex will shift, right? We know when the apex gets down and out, when the apex gets shifted laterally. So if apex is displaced, if it is not there in its location, obviously I will not be able to hear the murmur in the usual location, right? So that is why I would always say mitral area corresponds to cardiac apex and in fact for many examiners including me this is a simple way to fail PG students huh? at UG level I wouldn't bother you so much there are cranky examiners who will do that but at PG level I mean this is something that I use to fail students simple hey guys I will ask the student to auscultate for mitral area and I would probably have given him the context or he already knows the context if he might have taken the history of the patient and he knows that there is cardiomegaly so in that case apex will be displaced, right? So what I will observe is, I will observe where he keeps a stethoscope. If he keeps a stethoscope, medial to mid clavicular line in fifth intercostal space, I would say bye bye beta, we'll see you after six months. Because at PG level, it is expected that he will first palpate for the apex, feel where is it located and then auscultate exactly there. That is the expectation, right? because it corresponds to apex and not a fixed location. If apex is displaced, the area will also be displaced. Done? Okay, so now we have understood where to auscultate. There are two more areas to add to our list and I will also make it easier for you to remember the areas of auscultation. Okay, what are the areas I want to add? On the right, we had this area for pulmonic a valve on the second intercostal space, right? Just above that, in the first intercostal space, I have one more area 
and that area is called as Gibson's area. Gibson's area. This is the area for for patent ductus arteriosus murmur or the machinery murmur of PDA. The machinery murmur of PDA. Okay. Now there is one more area for us to remember that is in the right third intercostal space. Right third intercostal space and this area right third ICS close to the sternum and this area is also called as neo aortic area. So this is an additional area for the aortic valve. So for aortic valve we have two areas right one on the the right second intercostal space which is the primary aortic area and a new aortic area in the third intercostal space on the left side. Now how to remember all this the rule is very simple guys it is only the aortic area which is on the right side everything else is on the left side simple and on the left side from top to bottom we can make a list right. So starting with the first intercostal space we have Gibson's area which is the area for PDA murmur. Second intercostal space is the pulmonic area then third intercostal space is the neo aortic area and then remaining lower sternal border is tricuspid area and the location of apex is your mitral area. Now why understanding these areas is important because murmur originating from a particular valve will be best heard in that area. It does not mean that the murmur will not be heard in other areas. The murmur may be heard in other areas but the best heard that will be in their respective area like for example if there is let me say mitral stenosis right the murmur of mitral stenosis will be best heard in the mitral area. I may be able to hear it a little bit in the tricuspid area or other locations but the best clear audition is possible in the mitral area. So every time you read a question about murmur or you actually face a patient with murmur try to identify which area the murmur is best appreciated right probably the origin of that murmur will be of that respective valve. 